What's going on out there, good people? And welcome back to LMD Trading, where I am living my dream trading. Hope everybody out there is doing well. If you were in the market today, hopefully you were able to get some good trades in. Hopefully you were able to secure some gains. And if not, hopefully you learned from those bad trades that you may have taken. As for myself, it was a decent day in the market. I'm looking over here. Like I took four green trades, one red trade, fumbled the ball on the last trade that you're gonna see, which is one that I just took when I kind of sat back down to get this recap out of the way. So let's go ahead, let's bring up Trader View. Reviewing trades for February 6th, Monday. We took five trades today, closed PL to 11. As I stated, I took four green trades. This last one got in it at around 311. Kind of fumbled the ball on that one. Should have made a little bit more, but it's green. And then we got the Tesla trade. This one here, bad trade. I recorded my trades today. Only one that I want to watch on the video is this one. We'll look at the other ones in Thinkorswim, which we're going to pull up right now. You do see that we did make some decent money on those. That NVDA was just one contract. And that should have been a little bit more money as well. But let's go ahead. We're going to jump straight on in. Let me let's get a big picture on the spy real quick. You look at the spy like that. That's an ugly chart. It's just kind of chopping all over the place. And like I say, I took that trade around 15, 11. So right around here. Should have made a little bit more money on it, but. I'm not totally mad at how I managed it. But let's go ahead. Let's look at these trades today because they were a little unorthodox. This first trade, I was trying to get in somewhere up there. So I'm going to just drop that arrow. That's where I was trying to get in at. Let's come over here and look and see. So we should have been near the bottom of this candle. Uh, about midway. But that's pretty good. That was... That was the thought. It should have been low in the candle. And then this one should have been getting out fairly near the top. Yeah. So it was kind of trying something on that trade that's a little different than how you've seen me trade this strategy lately. Um, and, it, and it worked. It worked. That's where I was planning on getting out at. Kind of saw something in this trade that had it making this huge move up. And I was looking for this push back down to, you see this purple line? That is a downward trend line that's on my hourly chart. This is another one. And then there's a big, gigantic yellow one. Where is it at? There it is. That's... Uh, Wow, that sounded a little different, didn't it? I got two instances of Think or Swim running. So it just double timed the bell. But this is a upward channel. And then you have those downward channels trading inside of it. But the plan on this one, this big move, we're going to get the flush back down to this channel. That's all I basically wanted out of that trade made 112 off of it and you see left good money on the table but i was not mad at that pre-market we see that the spy had kind of kicked into an uptrend and then it kind of tried to trade back in it right through here very choppy though very choppy let me get my profits and let me keep it pushing all right let's look at this last one that we just took around what did we say 15 11 and that was going to be a different contract so let's grab that contract let's come on over here to 15 11 right there and let's look and see where we were getting in and i'm gonna tell you what my plan was kind of late feel i not quite right there but maybe just a little bit further Oh, sorry about that. Don't you just hate when you get interrupted and I do not remember where I left off at. So 
Just looking at this. I sat down and I saw the spy about to push down. I want to say I was trying to get in somewhere around right here. Pretty sure I caught a late feel. Let's see where we got in on this actual candle. Yep, kind of figured it was going to be up near the top. Um, trading this back down here. You see that this had actually pushed down. I probably got out as this was coming back up here. Trying to get a little greedy and made $7 on this trade. Probably could have made about 40 and if we held it all the way down, would have made more than that. But that was our second spy trade. Let's go ahead and take a look at NVDA. Let's see what this one looked like on the chart. This is going to be another one of those unorthodox ones. Ones that... I've stated that this is not really a part of this new strategy I'm working on and not one that I would probably be um, trading often. But I found the opportunity and I took advantage of it. So we see NVDA came up, tested the top of the channel, came back down, tested the channel there we get the entry would have been like right there to go long, but I caught this late as it came back up here. So I grabbed a put and let's see where we got out at. We got out in this candle as it was coming back up. Let's watch. Let's come over here and see where we got out of this candle. Uh, we somewhat, somewhat, but look at how much. So we got out at 540. This thing was at a high of 565. So that's $25 that we left on the table, letting this come back down. And we made $25 off of it. So could have made 50 bucks. Only had one contract. And like I said, it was just a play. Quick scalp. That's, that was a truly quick scalp play for this strategy. And that was NVDA. Let's take a look at Meta. I don't remember Meta, but Meta made us some money. So let's take a look and see what we did on Meta. I want to see where we got in on Meta at 401. Decent entry. Got out at 435 as it pushed back down. And that's the thing. When you're trying to get a little bit more money out of these trades... You can give up some, but look at what this thing did. It kept going 520. Let's look and see where we were getting out at and getting in it. Let's keep going. 10, 10. There we go. Oh, I like, I like. So I want to be getting in around right there. Let's see where we got out. Oh, we wrote this down pretty doggone good. Getting out somewhere is around there. Next candle, man. Oh, man. Yeah, we kind of we kind of set through this a little bit. We could have got out right down here. Made some good money. Most definitely, most definitely. Still not a bad trade, though. We see that... Meta was kind of trading in a very big channel. And then I had dropped a line down the middle. Watch this. And I remember this now. I'm going to activate this. This is actually two channels. And I just put it right on top. And it was basically kind of catching a little bit of support in the middle. So that's why I did that. But good trade. Like I said, this thing made all kinds of money. And the reason I got out right there was because of this line. Had that had that not been there, and I'm playing it down to the base of this channel, I probably would have set in this one all the way down to about right here on this first one. But because I looked at this as a little intermediate area, that's why I did that. 
But that there was the matter trade. Now let's go ahead and pull up the video. I already got Tesla queued up. Let's just talk about it real quick. Looking at this chart right here, the one minute chart. This is what I call no man's land. This is an area where I don't need to be taking trades at. Even though this is above the previous high of day. This is no man's land. It's in a downtrend. Downtrend. I came and I pretty much established a new uptrend. But is it really established? Let's start it. So it's above VWAP. And we get in the bottom and tail. And this is still not a reason to take this trade. Kind of knew it was aggressive, so I only did one contract, one call. But we get, look at that big move. Now watch, I try to take an order. I get filled 10 cent late. My order was on the on the um, ladder for 675. I got filled at 685. Still, no reason to take that trade just because we getting that big push. And because we got filled late, we never got in the money. It came back up to where I should have been getting filled at 675. But it still ain't put us put us in the money yet. So now we're finishing above that down channel. That still looks good. And like I said, this was very aggressive. Very aggressive. Now there we go. Look like it's trying to do something. Looks like it's trying. I'm like, okay, maybe maybe you did good getting in early. But the thing is, with this strategy, it makes no sense to even worry about getting in early on trades because the risk to reward potential is so great. So I go ahead, I drop a bracket on there because this is not looking promising. And then watch what it does. It just says, we're going to really let you know how promising this thing was. So it's still catching support. It's still trying to catch support on that up channel. But uh, uh, these are the ones that you have to be a little wiser on, LMD. Got to be a little wiser because, again, you don't have to be first to the party. And look at it. it. It was struggling. The buyers just could not overcome that selling pressure. But like I said, this is what stops are made for. Boom. Get stopped out. Get a decent little flush back to VWAP, which is also right where the 20 moving average is at. And... Game over, you lose. And that's it. We're going to wrap this one up. Like I said, another successful day, though. We continue the green streak. We continue to take smart trades for the most part. For the most part, taking fairly smart trades and just making it work. But as always, thanks for checking me out. If you haven't already hit that like button, please do so. If you're not subscribed, please, please, please go ahead and think about subscribing. We're making our way to 500 subscribers slowly but surely. Slowly but surely we're going to get there. And as always, we can continue the conversation in the comments. On that note, I'm going to wrap this one up and we'll be back at it again tomorrow. Peace.